the anointing will make you as bold as a lion. Where others will shrink back in fear, the anointing will cause you to step up to the plate. David was anointed more than he was naturally gifted. The Bible says he goes out on the battlefield. He's looking in the face of Goliath, naturally gifted, naturally talented. He's got everything that you would expect someone to have in the natural to be a mighty warrior and conqueror. He's got his sword and his shield, his armor. He's got the stature. He's got the past victories and successes. He's considered a wartime phenomenon. An entire nation is hanging out in the trenches because of the natural gifting that's intimidating an entire nation in Goliath. And David steps out on the field. He doesn't have one ounce of what Goliath has. No natural talent in comparison to Goliath. But this is where the anointing comes up against any type of natural talent you don't think that you have. And the Bible says with one stone, that giant fell. One stone. That's the anointing. That's how it works in our life. You say, I don't see how God could ever use me in any kind of significant way. Well, that's what the anointing does. The anointing will activate the courage in you to accomplish feats of destiny that in light of your natural limitations should be impossible. But the anointing is what gives you the courage to step out and say, even if I don't think I've got the ability and I don't think I have the talent, the anointing of God can come on my natural and make it supernatural, can come on my limitation and give me an ability to rise above that limitation. And that's what the anointing is for. 